There's nothing that people love more than having to record the same video you have already previously recorded but forgot to press the record button. So you have to remember all the fucking stupid gags you did. Uh, there's also uh, nothing more than people love than uh, decks of playing cards. Uh, these are just a couple that I have on the side here, but people love different designs on playing cards. I, I can't figure out why for the light of me, we still uh, invest so heavily on paper. Fuck. So uh, this is going to be no different. This is a hot review of the brand new Bicycle Inspire Alex Pandrea playing cards. Are they good? Um, yes. Uh, yeah. See you again when I see you again. See, that was a new gag. That wasn't in the old video. Y'all, the old one that didn't happen. Uh, oh shit, that was, man, that was a spook. So uh, this is gonna be a hard review to see if Alex Pandrea's life of uh, exotic islands and tiki beverages have quelled his creativity. So we're gonna abide by the three S's of reviews to see if this deck is worth your investment. Uh, the first S is spreadability. Uh, the second S is Sandal. And the third S is Songs of the South. The first category here is spread, uh, spreadability. So when you take these cards out of the box, uh, they, they spread really well here. Uh, let, let's just get a little bit of a zoom on the design here. It says, uh, follow, follow your dreams. And it's a bicycle. Which I mean, I'm not really gonna, I'm not really gonna shit on uh, too much, apart from the, uh, the the gay message. But see, I'm a huge fan of these style cards because too much, uh, too many times we have cards like these where the back designs kind of had the so uh, Illuminati vibe. Uh, let me let me pick out uh, these right here, where you, you feel like like maybe maybe it's not you're not in control of your life. So these are uh, the type of back designs I don't like and I don't tend to appreciate. But something like this. I really do appreciate the uh, the absolute shit out of the cards because there's there's not a lot to it. It's it's a simple. There are two bicycles. It's follow your dream. It's I know it's you know it's very preachy, but still they're they're hot cards. Um, and as far as the spread uh, spreadability here, they they spread awfully nice. Um, you could put them in your hands. You could do all the things that people do. You could do one of these, one of those. Uh, that that looked. Um, you could spread them in your hands. You could do all the things that people do. Uh, you know, they spread the cards. They look at them. You know, so the spread. Uh, I gotta say, the spreadability here is uh, is very good. Um, so if I had to give it a rating for spreadability, it's a th raging, raging uh, thumbs up. They spread better than your friends. Uh, girlfriend at the junior prom recital um, and that's that's a lot that's a wide <sighs> so the next the next uh, criteria here for playing cards is sandal now I know oftentimes people tend to neglect this sort of rating but um, when it comes to card sandaling it's very important that they fit precisely within the sandal I'm gonna use these uh worn in Old Navy sandals to try to determine and, and try to make uh, some sort of hopeful uh, test here for you to be able to de determine if you want, want to purchase these. Uh, see, these cards sandal very well. Uh, you could put them in there and they're not going to fall out. Uh, you could, you could, you know, do things that people do when they wear sandals. They go to the beach. Uh, they run away from the border patrol. But, uh, you know, they, they sandal really well here. Uh, let me just give you an example with another deck here. Um, that I don't think sandals very well. This is a 7-Eleven playing card uh, deck with $5 in saving. And as you can see, uh, these cards don't sandal well at all. Uh, they're flipping and flopping all over the place. Uh, they're, they're just falling out of the, uh, they're falling out of the sandal. These cards are really a piece of shit. You want cards that they could sandal. And these cards sandal really well. 
Uh, so if I had to determine the, uh, my purchasing option for these cards dependent on the sandal test, I would say, yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, thumbs up, thumbs up on sandal. My face when you try a gag that's really not that funny. So the next test here is the Song of the South. Uh, for those of you that don't know what the Song of the South is, it's an old timey movie that came out back when you used to have a colored fellow pump your gas for you. Oh, those times, good, good, good old times there. But uh, so uh, Songs of the South, now do the cards sound well? Uh, I would have to say, yeah, based on my rudimentary dribbling test here, um, the cards sound very well here. Uh, as a matter of fact, if we give it the old spring test, uh, one of, you see that the, the spring sounds like a, a, a bunch of haters being told to, to suck my dick. Um, so that's, that's what the um, spring test sounds like. Uh, but the, you know, they sound really well for those of you that are into the whole fucking tingle stuff. Um, the, the, uh, you know, overall so far, really, really good. The sandal, the spread and song of the south um they do fantastic that's a thumbs up raging heart thumbs up a thumbs up so raging that your grandfather will feel it um so that's that's that so overall what are you what are you getting uh you're getting a good quality hot minimal deck of cards with a couple a couple hot bonuses here one is uh, these cards are actually marked. Uh, now again, the markings are in the advertising when you purchase the card. So I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not revealing much here. I'm not exposing cunts. So here's, um, uh, the markings are on the spokes of the bicycle here, obviously on both sides. Uh, they're, they're, I, I'm not usually a fan of this whole marking systems that involve uh, having to get a, a degree in inferential statistics. This one is pretty simple, even by my uh, autistic standards. Uh, so they're really well done. Again, you could look at the advert if you want to know the actual marking, but there's actually two markings on the backs of these cards. You got uh, the markings on the spokes, and then you also got a, another marking, which I don't want to reveal, that allow you to determine the colors of the cards based on a spread. So you could uh, determine the colors, whether it's a red card or a black card, depending on uh, a certain something on the on the back of the card. I don't want to say much because it's kind of a hot, hot little uh, secret you could find yourself there. You could segregate the cards on your own for those of you that are into the songs of the South. Um, you see the connection of the gags here. Uh, so that's uh, overall a great deck here. They're pretty cheap from my understanding between five and six dollars a deck. Uh, considering that's for a marked deck of cards, uh, that is a, a hot value that I'm sure even the most penny pincher bunch of you will appreciate. So uh, there, you take that to your grave, you buy them, you buy Alex Pandre another set of tiki drinks on his exotic, um, what looks like to be Cuban island, uh, and you, you get him one of these hot decks. They get a, they're gonna get two black Sharpie markers out of two from good old pig cake here. So you, you buy those and you do all the other things. Um, any card at any number, that's still getting some hot sales. You might want to check that 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 out. Uh, then there's um, the Patreon, you might want to do that. Uh, PP Big makes your, <sighs> fucking die. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go figure out different ways to watch a battery charge. Shine, 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 shine.